Hi, my name is Yellowstar from Team Solomid, and this is my basic champion guide to Nautilus. Nautilus is really beefy early on. He has a shield that provides him a lot of HP, so his laning phase can be really, really good, especially if you're facing a squishy bot lane, which is mainly the case. And even if it's not the case, then he's really good against uh, melee support because he would win any trades and his passive makes him really good. But then as the games goes on, he will be weaker and weaker because if uh, the opponents have a dash, if they have flash up, then it's really easy to get away if you're ulting a target. He can just run super, super far away and just avoid and be in the middle of his teammates. And in that case, that's not what you want to do. Because with Nautilus, you're trying to pick them in the jungle if they're out of position, so you can like just blow someone quickly. You need to kind of snowball the laning phase in order to be relevant in the late game. But taking skirmishes is really good with Nautilus. So you would want to get level 2 before the opponents when you, it gets to lane. So as Nautilus, you would try to get level 2 and then walk into a bush where they don't have any vision. So they will always be scared and in danger of getting hooked. Because if they get hooked and they have no dashes, they will get in trouble. Because first you get hooked and then you get eat and auto attack, so you're stunned. And Thunderlord procs. Your AD is free to do whatever he wants to because he's hooked, stunned. And then your AD can dash in or just walk straight to him and output damage, which is a good combo. And then he just have like free time to push in and poke as well. So mainly you would want to get the vision and try to deny the words in the bush. So it's gonna make it really easier. Um, once you chunk them once, you would want to freeze your lane because you are going to win any 2v2s. Since you chunk them level 2, then they have to back and use the potion. And this is where you can start bullying them. But you have to keep in mind that if you chunk them then, and you're gonna freeze, then their jungler might be trying to gank you. Or remember that if you're trying to freeze, then you're gonna stack your minion wave. And if you fight in this big minion wave, you will get a lot of damage and not what you would want. When it comes to team fight and you see that you have the position advantage, like for example, you're, you're, ca you're catching someone that is out of position and you know that you are outnumbering them, then do not hesitate to use your ultimate. Like even flash ultimate, you still can do it. If you flash away or if he dash away, you still have the hook after proccing the ultimate. So this is not a problem, but you have to make sure that you cannot really force an engage uh, when they're not out of position or if you're sure that you're outnumbering them because you might just flash ultimate and then everyone is around, you cannot really do it because you they would be really far away and your team would not be allowed to follow up. Um, else just hit the closest target. Try to proc your passive and the e spells because it's gonna slow every one of them. And, and then when you see a good opportunity, when someone is low or they're trying to back off, then this is where you will be able to use your ultimate. If you're playing against a melee support or someone that is face checking, do not hesitate. Um, you need to auto attack once to proc the passive, use the W to reset the auto attack, and then use the E. You should not use any abilities before proccing the auto attack because if you press uh, e, then he's gonna be slowed, and then if he has a CC, you won't be able to auto attack. So the first that you should use should be the auto attack and proc the passive. Then reset auto with W and, and then you can proc Thunderlord. You can get all your combo off and this is how you maximize his damages. When you're playing Nautilus, you want a lot of damages. So Kalista is a good option when it comes to it because on lane you can really bully at level 2. If you get level 2 faster, then you can try to get an all-in. And the thing is, Nautilus, once he's in the fight and once he's committing, then he has no way to get out. And that's why Kalista can be a really good alternative to make him safe. And at the same time, you can force the engage. Like, Nautilus can go in and then Kalista can use her ultimate and throw Nautilus again. So he's going to be double knock up into a lot of damages. And Nautilus is quite beefy. So Kalista and the team can just clean up. And then when it comes to laning phase, you would like to have a lot of bursts. So 
having Lucian in the team, he's like really self-efficient AD, so it's really easy to follow up as well. And to burst down a target, it can be quite convenient. So Nautilus is a melee champion and as a support on lane, you are going to be a melee. So you don't want to be so squishy. So for marks, you would run 9 armor. Uh, for seals, you would run HP flat. For glyph, you would run either magic resist or some CDR to have 5% and a mix of CDR uh, magic resist too. And for the queens, you would run armor. You can choose two mastery pages. The first one would be 0, 18, 12, where if you face, in the case you face really squishy and you can burst them down. So you'd rather play Nautilus with a lot of burst because he has a lot of damage. And with the masteries of Thunderlord, you have extra damage and a lot, a lot of burst. So you would play uh, these masteries when you know that you can one shot the bot lane opponents and you would rather go 0 12 18 when you're facing like a beefy bot lane that you know that they can sustain or you cannot one shot them and you'd rather be tankier so you would go for 0 12 18 for the skill order with Nautilus, if you have the chance to take a camp level 1, you would rather start with W because you won't take as much damage. You have uh, the passive, you have the shield which applies a lot of damage and you won't lose as many HP as you would if you take E. So if you have the chance to take a camp, start W. And then when you go on lane, you would rather take Q because you will have the XP advantage. So you will be level 2 faster and then you can look for an aggression with the hook. But if you're playing against an aggressive bot lane that also got a camp and they want to play aggressive, you might take E level 2. So if they initiate the fight, then you will have much more damage with the E. Uh, in a case where you don't get to do a camp level 1, then you would rather go on lane with the E. And for a second spell, you would rather go for the hook and then you will look for in aggression level 2 as well and you'll have a lot of damage so you engage with the hook if you can you proc the auto attack for the passive stun and press the e and you proc thunderlord in this case so it's really a good combination and then after level 4 you would max e over w over q so you would rather go for a lot of damage early on with Nautilus so you have a lot of burst and at level 6 it's really easy if they don't have any defensive spells like Morgana shield then you can burst down someone really easily because you just use the ultimate and then you can hook him stun to a E and it's a lot of damage but if you see that the laning phase is gonna be over really quickly then you would want to get into team fights so you would rather max W over E so I would say that E is mainly for a laning phase. So the starting items as Nautilus, you would go for Targon and three potions. And for the laning phase, it's really good because you have sustain and everything. And then if you are struggling or if you have a huge lane advantage, you'd rather upgrade your Targon so you have more sustain. So it means that you can zone them if you're winning or you can just sustain if they're pushing you in the tower and harassing you. And after that, you would go for side stone to provide vision and be safe. And then you would go for the boost level one. And then here comes the core items that you want to build. So either you want to build the Swifties to roam and to have a lot of mobilities, or you'd rather go for the tankiness, which applies to the shield of Nautilus and passive. So that's really good as well. And if you're looking for team fight and be a beefy support, the because they will struggle to kill you, then you would rush the Iron Solari. So you're already really, really tanky before the Swifties. And then once you have the Iron Solari, you can just go for uh, the Swifties. So this is in the case where you want to be really tanky and you're looking for a lot of skirmishes and teamfights. Else, if you're planning to roam because you've taken towers and stuff, you'd rather go for the Swifties in order to roam and help around the map so either you can gank top either you can gank the mid laner or just roam with your jungler but but most of the time solo queue i will recommend to go as tanky as possible so you can win any fights thanks for watching this basic champion guide make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolplus.com